Here's an example of a method section where we're doing primary data collection, that is, we're collecting the data through surveys, scales, focus groups, or interviews. In this particular study, it was an examination of a widely used nutrition education program. Notice that the author used a randomized control trial to study the effects of the nutrition education program. So it starts off with the uh, heading methods, and then you can see here that the um, section is broken down into um, subheadings, including instrumentation. Acceptable subheadings are located in the APA manual. So you can see we first described the type of research design that we used, and then we gave information of when the study took place and where the study took place. We also gave information on the eligibility to be in the study. We gave information about parental consent and briefing. Information on how assignment and do treatment and control groups was conducted. And of course, that statement on the review and approved by the Institutional Review Board. In the next subsection, we talk about the instrumentation how they, um, the participants completed the uh, surveys and when they completed the survey, specifically what were the items or the scales that were used. So you can see the author used the youth network survey and it asked sample questions like this. You can also see we report the alphas for reliability and validity. You can see there were other measures well used as well, including the School and Physical Activity and Nutrition Survey. Notice, however, this is not cited APA style. This is MLA style. Some journals will require MLA style. Make sure that you write your paper APA style. So for every one of the items or scales that were used in this particular study, we describe the instrument. We also provide the citation. So for example, the author used the self-efficacy to ask for fruits and vegetables subscale, the self-efficacy to prepare fruits and vegetables subscale, and the self-efficacy to eat fruits and vegetables subscale, and gave an example of the response format as well as the alphas down there. We also told them that we collected data on demographics and what was the reading level and testing time of the particular instrument. So again, this would give the reader enough information so that they would be able to replicate the study. So what they would need to do is do a randomized control trial in 28 elementary school sites that have an after-school program that have low-income students. They would include students that are in grades four through six, and they would have to randomize after they got consent. And then they would have them do a survey about two weeks prior to the start of the program and then three months after the end of the program. The survey would need to include these scales and items, including the demographics section. The study would want to use this, the survey so that it was about third grade reading level and took about 12 minutes. So if someone were to replicate this study, they should be able to find similar results. So this is how one might use the method section or write a method section for a study that where they were conducting and collecting the data. This is an example of a method section from a manuscript that was looking at perceived norms regarding tobacco use and actual tobacco use among college students. I think it's a good example of a method section where the author is conducting a secondary data analysis. You can see there's the heading with the method section. You can also see that the first statement is that the study was approved by the University of Florida IRB where the student was um, at. This could probably be best go after maybe the last uh, paragraph, last sentence in the last paragraph. 
Um, I like what the author writes here. The uh, American College Health Association's National College Health Assessment 2, so that's the data uh, set, is a national survey which collects research data to help colleges in assessing student behaviors and perceptions on health topics and issues. So what they've done is summarize what the purpose of the ACHA and CHA is, and they've also described what some of the items in that survey or data file are. If we scroll down, we can see that it gives a little bit of information about how the NCHA is conducted, and the author provides the citation there so the reader can go get more information about the NCHA, the National College Health Assessment. They talk about how the study is conducted, where to get uh, the data, and uh, the like. And then what the author does is looks at the specific variables that the author used for their particular study. So they're looking at how they use the variable sex, age, race, class, data, class status, degree seeking, grade point average, current residence, and involvement in Greek life. Now for many studies we may only have one or two variables, perhaps maybe one independent variable, one dependent variable. They also talked about any data manipulation that they did. So you can see that this um, person recoded the race data to either be white or non-white. So what they did is they recoded into a new variable. Everybody who was white, they got the new code as white. Everybody that was not white, so Hispanics, African Americans, Native Americans, so on and so forth, came into the non-white category. So I imagine what the author was doing here was taking a nominal level variable that had several ca categories and making it into a non uh, a dichotomous uh, variable so that she could use that new dichotomous variable in her study. All we're trying to do in this method section is give our reader enough information so that they could replicate the study. So telling the reader how we recoded or changed data if we did that is very very important so that they could replicate our study. You can see they also um, did some recoding of the um, tobacco use uh, questions as well. So I think this is a really good example of a method section for a secondary data analysis. They describe the data set in terms of the purpose of that data set. They describe how that data was originally collected um, by the um, primary authors, including giving the um, citation. They talked uh, how they uh, applied the data, so specifically what were their independent variables and dependent variables. And then they talked about how they recoded data for the purposes of their study, although that may not apply to your particular study. I also like the fact that they um, put in a statement that the study was approved by the IRB at their university, although that could have probably been better to include here at the, at the end.